Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to view a summary of the task system from Battle Royale Tycoon series. Let's begin. So the goal in this series is to make the task system as it's used in Battle Royale Tycoon. The system is very useful and it's used for most actions in the game, like for the transporters or the cleanup of the arena. Essentially, when the arena battle ends, the system generates tasks for the quadrants that need to be cleaned and the weapons that need to be picked up. Then the workers pick up a task when they can, and finally execute it. This series will teach you everything you need to know to be able to implement your own task system with whatever task types you need. So first, we're going to create the task system class with a very simple task that tells the worker a position to move to. Then we're going to create a simple worker class that periodically requests tasks and executes them by moving to that target position. In the second video, we're going to make multiple task types with different parameters and executions. We're going to have a task that tells the worker to go to a specific position and also a different task that tells the worker to play an animation. After that, we will set up a complex task that involves the worker going to a certain position, then playing an animation, then executing an action. So all of those together make up the behavior for the worker to clean up a sprite on the floor. With that, we will then add the ability to queue and validate tasks. That way we can add a task to the task system as soon as we want, but we can also add a validate function where the task will stay in the queue until it can actually be executed. The next video will cover a good example for how useful that is. We're going to create a task type for the worker to grab a weapon and drop it on an item slot. However, before that task is executed, the task system will validate it by making sure the item slot is actually empty. And in the final video, we're going to take our code and create two separate task systems with different task types. So we're going to make a task system that has a task to take a weapon and drop it onto an item slot, and then another completely separate task system, which will have a task that checks if the item slot has an item, and if so, grab it and take it away. Each task system will be completely independent and have one worker, and both of them will work in tandem. As the first one drops a weapon into the item slot, the second one will grab it and take it away. That shows you how you can combine multiple task systems with multiple task types in order to create some really complex behavior. So that's the plan for the task system in Battle Royale Tycoon series. It's a very useful system, especially if your game involves ordering around multiple units. The final system is quite complex, but the videos go through each part of the system in a slow and clear manner. So go watch the playlist and begin learning right now. As always, you can download the project files and utilities for each video in the series from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.